Starting the recording, yes, indeed. So, welcome, good afternoon, all that good stuff, hello. Um, big updates on my end. Uh, the biggest one I'd say in terms of launch purposes is uh, every single character submitted uh, on the submission form, their backstories have been approved. Um, it was like two individuals, and neither of them were denials from backstory. It was... Here's a clarification, and here is a, a mechanic clarification. So neither of them were, like, noted to be talked to about uh, backstory issues. So everyone's been approved. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. Um, there are some very fancy backstories, and uh, that is precious. Um, yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, with all that said, now that backstories have been approved, our staff... Um, review has been concluded. I've cleared all the tags that were not yet cleared yet. The majority of them were. Um, our numbers are looking much more appropriate. So, oh, look at that. Look at you being fancy. Um, what we've determined is that we are looking at about 70 player slots. Um, which gives us about half of what, actually a little over half, um, of the number of characters submitted are going to be getting adventurous slots. Um, with all that said, I've gone through those slots that have been submitted for everyone who's a staff who would receive a staff slot, so like DMs, uh, cartographers, uh, heads, you know, things of that nature. Um, I've already given those slots listed to my my notepad here for for all that good stuff. Um, and I have a roulette system in place to get the other uh, fifty eight slots to to roll up in. Indeed, as applications open, more slots might be applied, and more characters may gain adventuring tags and whatnot. Um, so I will likely be doing a... popping into just a random call after this meeting and just rolling up slots there, and like recording it and posting it into YouTube. I don't know if I'll stream. It doesn't seem like worthy of a stream just me rolling up slots. Seems a little... I'm looking at my stream and not like a... Yeah, it seems... Seems unnecessary to me. But I will hop into the general call voice and everyone can just like sit in and watch as they roll slots and ask questions. Um, and I'll probably put that recording up on YouTube. Um, but as something that's going to be happening today, good stuff. Very exciting. Um, beyond that, I've also finished a whole bunch of sub rule systems like the downtime rules, a bunch of the... Um, Subclass stuff, I'm going to be putting up um, some new classes up on World Anvil soon. There's a whole bunch of things that are ready, and I just need to plop them on there. Um, and I've already started that with some things, as you've seen probably from like the uh, actions from our Logos are now up there. They're, they're already made, but I, I'm just going through my backlog now and getting things that I need to put up there. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, it is fun, which is why I was thinking about just hopping in a call. But, yeah. I mean, I can stream. Just, just seems weird to, to stream me rolling slots. But, uh, that's why I was going to hop in a call and people want, and want to ask questions about the server, just random questions they can in, in the call. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, I think for purposes of big notables, um, do, 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 I know political has been wanting me to give them crimes and punishment stuff. Um, that should be up on World Anvil soon as well. That's that's on my list to upload. Uh, just going through my backlog, as I've said. Um, and I've also updated the civilian class with some of the stuff that uh, Frozen's been working on uh, with some modifications by me because they had... A lot of um, core ideas, and I just expanded those a little bit. Um, so those are now up on World Anvil. It's only the first level stuff because that's all we really need right now. But there's there's more to it. It's just to get people available to see what they can build for the character slots being rolled out today. I did what was necessary for today. Um, so that's that's an update there as well. Um, we've also been doing some other side things relating to the other factions available and and whatnot and. 
going through all the messages and like the uh, letter system, I still need to actually respond to that one in more detail. I did have some notes and I just remembered I need to do that. But uh, I did look at it and uh, it looks good. There's there's things to note down and I'll go through that in the suggestion format for that file so it's easier to go through and look at. Um, overall though, lots of progress and big news being the character slots being rolled out today. Um, they're going to give there's slots a week for people to like approve their characters. Like here, once the slots are given, they can have that week to make their character sheet, approve it, all that good stuff. If they want to make any changes, they can do so. They can let us know. Um, and you know, yeah. Once the slot's given, it's it's, it's there unless something might like a rule's broken, in which case the slot might be taken away for said rule breaking. But that is not something I I feel like is necessary to be uh, worried about at this point in time. But uh. Yeah. Um, outside of that week, uh, once character slots are approved and uh, characters are fully made, so like after the week, leave at that point we can start looking into RP events and whatnot opening up, depending on where RP event team is at in regards to those RP events. I know you've been working on like concepting and whatnot of, of late, but I don't know how far you're into that right um, with the, the new plants like the festival and whatnot. Um, all that said, all remaining characters who are not on the, the 70 slot listing that we have out of the 137. Of the um, um, hello, Moraz. Hello, Moraz. Um, um, I can't think of the word. Uh, da, da, da. The 67 remaining slots out of the 137 that we have. Uh, if they're wanting to transition to civilians, they're good to do so. Um, all civilians that are currently applied, they're getting civilian slots. And the 67 remaining that have, that may, that, you know, will not have adventurer slots, they can just choose to transfer to their character to a civilian. Backstory is still approved and all that. Um, although it might need some uh, changes to not be an adventurer, depending on some of them. Because some of them are very much, I'm an adventurer. Um, but yeah, so if, you, if you're wanting to transition to a uh, civilian, if you are not picked for a, a character slot, you're good to do so. Backstory is approved. Slot given. Um, yeah. Uh, that all said, though, with these character slots, uh, I have made a whole boatload of uh, copies of the character sheet. I've also updated the character sheet, by the way, to list um, a subclass and subrace and cleaned up a little bit. Uh, so that's that's up there now. I know that was requested. Um, for the character sheets, if people can help me out sending uh, editable links to these individual sheets, um, that'll be quite helpful because there is 70 character sheets in the player uh, PC sheet uh, folder, and there'll be probably 67 or under on how many civilians we get in the civilian department. Um, so, about that. Yeah. But uh, right now, you just need to rename them to the name of the character, or the, preferably, I would say, the, uh, the player Discord handle. So it's clear that that is who it's, it's tied to, not the character name. Um, and then just give them a, an editable link. And if you're wondering what their email is for the editable link... Uh, it is listed on the uh, da, 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 da. I try to find the name of this and I'm blind. Uh, in the backstories folder of the PC section, there is a thing known as approved characters and that has their, their email for purposes of uh, you know assigning it. Uh, lore keepers, lore keepers kind of handle that situation. Uh, as like a generalist, but normally it would be the dungeon master, the one who's uh, handling the players at the time. So like, um, if like something major happens to a player, and you need to make a change to a sheet, such as our information of like their backstory, you want to make a change to our side of things, then you can do that as a dungeon master or as a lore keeper or whatnot. For the most part, players will be handling their own edits. 
and we'll just have to keep an eye on it, make sure everything's good, which as a DM, you'll be able to generally know what's going on. And then we have our subsystems to handle that too, because like the downtime system will be a form, so that will have everything tracked for us. So it, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, for the initial approval, initial approval of, scroll up. Oh, for the initial approval, um, yeah, yeah, no, um, floor keepers, myself, anyone who wants to help out. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, little pink. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, anyone who's a dungeon master can help out in terms of approving characters, because we, we all know how to make characters and all that. I mean, if you're not a dungeon master, you're playing D&D, &D, you generally know the rule systems, but uh, yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of character sheets to approve. Fortunately, it's not as much reading involved as reading through backstories, uh, which does take time. They're very good backstories, by the way. Um... But Some of these have Google Docs on them. Yes, I read all like of them. Eight pages long. Do I'm the like, word. dude, dude. I'm like, dude. You gotta leave room for like <laughs> opening here. Holy shit! Five hundred word essay. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyways, um, I'm rambling a bit here at this point, and I lost my train of thought. Uh, that's pretty much what I have. Huge update, character slots, all that good stuff. I know Legacy has some things to bring up. Um, I don't know if you have it typed up pre-ready for us, but uh, if you don't, does anyone have anything they else want to bring up real quick or anything to note down, things to, to talk about? Uh, well, we have one more part-time GM signing up. Oh, nice. Very nice. Well, it's a returning character, but... Mm -hmm. or turning applicant but gotcha, gotcha. still still part in dm nice. very good very good uh oh one thing i just remembered um central character organizer will be exceedingly handy very much appreciated um for purposes of how i've been determining slots of players and whatnot um it is highly encouraged as a full-time dungeon master game master um that you try to get the capacity of players in your game. If you're not comfortable running with six, it's fine. But for purposes of character slots, I have been going off of full DMs are running six players, while part times are running two. For determining how many player slots we have. Yeah. And this all also could be, you know, like maybe you're a full time GM and you're running two groups of four. I don't really know. I'm not limiting you on how many you can run, or I just, or uh, like how many groups you can run. But players are between four and six for how many players can be in a particular game. So, it's up to you. As long as we have a group assigned to a full time GM and they run their sessions per the month, then we're good to go. And part time GMs we can run whenever. We already tried 12-person combat <laughs> when Nerp ran the purple worm. Yeah. That was, uh... Look, level 12 characters that their spellcasters are ass. Okay? That's, uh... Mm. That's a long combat. It's pretty long combat, yeah. But, uh, you know, raids can, raids can work. We just need, uh... Yeah. Keep things on top. Yeah. Raids are very much appropriate if you're doing, like, uh improved tactician where there's like a time left for players turns so they are all keeping an eye on things and, and whatnot so um we're also just you know having an understand with your players that, you know no. it's gonna be a long session but uh yeah um anything else anyone would like to bring up look through chat um Do we, when do we want to let them start their two weeks of RPing only? Like, do we want them to start right away if they've, if they're okay with their character, or do we want to wait that week and say, hey, 
yes to have have at least give a week before you decide to you know write your first blah blah blahs on the road yeah so um, deal. for the rp opening uh at the very least it will not be open until next sunday so i want to give everyone okay. a full week to have their characters make their characters do any edits they might want or completely scrap the character and resubmit a new backstory so once slots are approved the slots given to that player um so if they're like ah, i don't really feel this character anymore I, i'm going to submit a new character uh, that's fine and they'll have that full week to do all those changes um once those changes are done with a week we'll move forward and at that point i feel like we'll have rp events ready to go if i'm wrong no worries we can take an extra week but um i feel like by next sunday we should have rp open for the two weeks of rp if not maybe it'll be the sunday after that but we're very very close And then we'll have right. you know, those two weeks to do all the other things that need to be a little fine-tuned on our back end. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely remind me on the feedback, because I forget. Um, actually, just, just ping me into, into Divinity Team so I, I can have that marked as unread. Because I'm probably going to forget tonight, because I have PMing to do, and final transition prep for all the things I've been transferring to the World Anvil. Um, da, 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 da. I assume we're just going to roll a 1D uh, a 1D 137 and just start picking names? Uh, I actually have a uh, I have a web page open with a roulette that just will roll and it actually spins a little wheel and gives a little sound effect. It's, it's pretty mm. fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Nice. And it will let me remove the name with sad and add it to a giant list, so I'll just be able to copy paste at the end. Um, in terms of Fritz's question, um, if you're a staff member and you want to NPC some play uh, some civilians or whatnot in a region, um, generally that's RP events. Uh, you're, you're free to sign up on RP events and start RPing. I can't know. Just indicate as an RP person that you want to be an NPC. Uh, in the same region. Um, as your player character, uh, that depends on if you are a region head or not. Actually, I think that might be the website I'm using, yes. Th that is the website I'm using, yes. Um, so if you are a region head, then it is encouraged to avoid your particular region because of spoilers and whatnot. Um, if you are not a region head, then you can do the same region, just... Keep in mind that you might have to recuse yourself during certain occasions. I can't believe we have to strip Fritz of all his stuff for uh, <laughs> metagaming. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Is the uh, post you're posting in uh, Council General Legacy, is that a public thing or is that a staff thing for purposes of the recording staff thing okay i will not look at it with my recording hey so my end of things first off yeah, every totally single like person with the staff tag should check the google form in general and fill it out this is both the final check and the regional role assignment Secondly, I'll be posting an announcement regarding both the slot rolling and volunteer applications opening up today Alright. It's like a very nice, neat form. Nothing too detailed. Pretty quick to, to fill out. Alright. Yeah, Joby's been banished from Dole Litter. They're a party animal. That one. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, as for the uh, the form that Legacy posted above in Council General, um, you know, it's it's help get an idea of where we're looking in terms of DMs for the different regions. Helps get people assigned summary, and all that. We're pretty much on the last step of starting up. But yes, if you have any of the volunteer tags, fill it out so you can get your region. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. 
Uh, anything else you would like to bring up? Things to note? Why I assume Legacy's typing more stuff? <laughs> You're stuck here. You're not volunteers. You are moderators. Completely different power. <laughs> yes, fallen told. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if, if even if moderators want to run NPCs, you can just pop on and be like, "Hey, look at that staff tag. Let me get that NPC tag." Yes, please sign up to be an aspirant so you can get your uh, thimble of vodka and one potato. Mm, it's very a month. Important. Yeah. It's the most important ration. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I've not connected the Discord bot, I can do that, though. I, I was going to get everything set up on my end for the, uh, the roulette after the meeting, so. Give them half a potato and they start bitching. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Just for people to to look at it, um, since the downtime is done, I will post this in Capture General just so. It is a staff link, not a uh, an open link. There's the downtime listing. I mean, they're going to be able to get the same exact info, but it, it I don't really want to be pinged by a thousand people being like, "Hey, can I have access to this this document?" No. So. Um. But yeah, no. There, there's the uh, the downtime list. It's all done. It's all good to go. Um. There's some spicy stuff there. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, more of the our logo stuff, which I was going to get to Friday and Saturday, but then I was out all fucking day Friday, and then when I got home, I kind of just passed out. And Saturday, I was exceedingly busy. Surprisingly, I thought I was going to have maybe like an hour meeting during my Saturday game that's on hiatus, but it turned out to be a six-hour meeting. So you know, um. Expect the Great Houses to be up on World Anvil this week, rather than last week. Yeah. Um, other than that, though, I know... Right, I'm about to ping at everyone in announcements. Excellent. I am ready to die. Yes, ready to be crucified, your most heinous of crimes. But since it looks like Legacy is almost done, and I'm literally just uh, saying random words, uh, yeah, just let's let Legacy do their thing. Oh, nerd. Yeah. Did you get uh, Barbarian prepared? See, I've been debating on that. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, but since it's in the wording and it's it's based on Series Divinity, I'm not sure about putting it on World Anvil as its entirety. Um, I'm going to, but I've been hesitant, so which is why I hasn't, I'm, I was going to put it on like months ago mm -hmm. because of its, but because of it being Spears of Vindy class, so every wording is my own and all that. I've been a little like, should I though, or should I wait for the release? And, but now I'm like, you know, I'm just going to put it up there. I mean, I'm going to put everything in Spears of Vindy on World Denver or on my own, uh, wiki page. So eventually, right. I might as well just start doing it now. Takes me time in the future. Well, I was more asking just because you have people that are going to play Barbarian and with Unchained classes being starting to take over majority, it's probably best to yeah. let people yeah. grab it I mean, so they don't have to worry about it. Alchemist is on the list to be added soon. I'll probably be doing that this week as well. Um, Barbarian's going to be on the list. Uh, Bard is on the list. Um, Warlock is getting some changes as well. Um, so th there's, there's some things on the list to be updated. There, there are three new classes being added to a uh, World Anvil, being the Alchemist, the Bard, and the Barbarian. At least I'm pretty sure that the Bard is is ready. 
the last I looked at it was really close, and I'm pretty sure I can do the last little tweakings in like an hour. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. I'm being added, apparently. I'm gonna go read that out. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm using. Is uh, frozen in the call right now. No, okay. I'll just respond to them then. There we go. All right. There's my requested ping. Very nice, very nice. The uh, downtime activities do have headers, so you can just use the summary outline on the left to quickly jump to between them. Yeah, there are certainly a lot of activities. Um, most of them are actually viable for any character, but there are some that are limited to only adventuring uh, player characters. So. Oh, yeah. In terms of the World Anvil page, though, I can see that one being a bit more of a trickier one to actually get running. I'm probably going to do it the same way I did subclasses, where in there are, like, spoilers, where you can click on the header to reveal it. That way it's not just a giant list of text. Um, but, but yeah, no. It's, it's, it's on my list to transfer. But, uh, I also have to have a subfolder, because the building up and buying a structure doesn't actually list what each of the components provide and what they are. Um, so that, that is going to be like a sub document to this document for that particular section. But yeah, it, it works out pretty well. And I also have the rules in that sub document, which needs to be transferred to World Anvil as well, for how the different quality tiers affect the building components. So you could have like a, a superior quality ballroom as an example, and it provides additional stuff. And it does change the cost and the size and then whatnot. Yes, yeah, it's definitely going to be a often looked at location. Yeah. And we'll also have a, a default choice that players themselves can change their default. Uh, that way, generally it'll probably be recuperating or... or I remember the one, it might be practicing profession. One of them says, you don't pay upkeep. Um, and that is the one that will probably be defaulted so people don't have to worry about paying their, their monthly fee. Or not monthly fee, but their... Whenever taxes come, they don't have to pay their taxes. And if they choose not to pay their taxes, which is a choice that can be done, uh, fantasy RIS might come up. IRS. Alright, it looks like Legacy is done with their shoops. Um, that is good, good, good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there'll be some many players of that nature, yes. Um, all that said, though, since it seems that we have nothing else to discuss, unless someone would like to bring something up right now. Yeah. Cool. In that case, um, that be the meeting. Appreciate everyone's faces, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to close out the recording here, and probably in like five, ten minutes, start, uh, I think we will actually just stream, hop in a call and stream the roulette going through. Um, Soul Fractured and Revenant are allowed to start. Um, I've been very wishy-washy on Revenant because they are the sub-race or the, the, the race for um, those who do resurrection quests. But uh, I, I, in the end, I think people like the idea of it. And I was like, you know, it's, it's not... 
it's fine to not limit them to be only Resurrection Quest races. Doesn't mean that if you die as a Revenant, well, oh boy. Uh, good luck getting resurrected. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's just... Yeah, I'll, I'll be posting an announcement, and then I'll give him like 5-10 minutes of uh, starting soon, and then, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, Revenants, good to be played. Soul Fractures, good to be played. Every race, or uh, species, that's what I, I called them, on the uh, World Handle page, they're good to be, be played. A quick question. Of those dams who are unsure about where they will be damming, I've heard something about a roulette for such a thing. I misunderstand. Yeah, roulettes for the character slot allocation. Um, there is the form posted in general uh, council general, which is where you can sign which regions you want want to you where you want to DM at, uh, just to gauge your interest, uh, so you kind of get a better idea of how many DMs can handle a particular region. Um, we did this in the past, but since it's Refresh and staff camps occurred. It's it's good to do this again now that we're about to launch. Um, yeah, the only thing that's currently locked behind future play is the dragon, uh, the scale scale color ranger, and that's because it is locked behind some Elderia quest line. I believe a faction. If I remember, I have to look at the notes. Um, And as Sack said, if you want, you can be randomly rolled where you are DMing as well. But you can also just choose. Um, good stuff. Uh, any other questions, since these questions seem to be bringing up right now? Just tippy tapping and now it stopped. All right. No. Yeah. In that case, more typing, waiting. Okay. Anyways, appreciate everyone's faces, all that good stuff. Uh, that'll be the meeting, and I will close things out here. And, uh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah.